everyone and welcome to the Sally Tomato YouTube channel. I'm Kate and today we are going to be making an easy to sew carry along bag that is great for organizing everyday and travel items. The carry along pattern includes three sizes, small, medium, and large. I'll be showing you how to add a zipper closure, shape the bag, add a lining, and then add a wrist strap. Try using our cork fabric, faux leather, and faux fur to make each bag a little bit of luxury. Jamie, Jess's business partner, designed these bags for all sorts of uses, and I'm sure after you've made one, you'll find you'll need more than one. Be sure to purchase the pattern before beginning this class. The pattern and your supplies can be purchased from our website or request them at your local quilt shop. We encourage you to shop local whenever you can. I'm sure you're ready to get started, but do remember you can always pause the video if you need a little extra time to review or for a little extra stitching time as well. And be sure to follow your pattern. It's written and and illustrated so it's very easy to follow and now it's time to gather some supplies your fabrics and I'll see you at the work table before beginning please review the recommended fabrics on the back of the pattern cover and the pattern corrections page on our website for any updates you'll need a main fabric and lining fabric you certainly could add fleece batting or foam but that's optional and it depends on the weight of the fabric and also if you like a softer or firmer carry along. I'll be adding the fleece just to give my bag a little more support and be sure to follow your pattern for the cutting instructions. There are three different sizes so you may find it helpful to mark the different sizes in your pattern with different colors of highlighter, pen, or pencil for easy reference. From the main fabric cut out the main panel strap connectors strap and zipper tabs. You'll also cut out the lining and fleece panels and then don't forget your hardware and zipper that you'll need. Also if you'd like you can certainly add a handmade label. It gives a nice touch to your finished bag. Let's begin with preparing the main panels. Now this first step is optional if you've decided to add foam or fleece to your bag. With right sides up, position one main panel over each coordinating fleece or foam piece and align all the edges. You can certainly use basting spray or sewing clips to hold the layers together while sewing. Now with the sewing machine, top stitch the main fabric to the batting or foam along all the edges. Refer to your pattern for the recommended seam allowances and stitch lengths for the piecing and top stitching. After your top stitching is completed along all four edges of each main piece, then you'll mark just the bottom corners and this is referring to the measurements in your pattern and then you'll cut out following those lines. So you'll have two corners that are cut out. After you've cut out the bottom corners of your two main pieces, remember to also cut out the bottom corners of each of the lining pieces as well. Now we're going to move on to the zipper and with wrong sides together, fold each zipper tab in half and then we're simply going to place the zipper tab over the end of the zipper and hold in place with a clip. Make sure the zipper tape end is right into the fold of the zipper tab and I'll do the same for the opposite end. And then we'll be heading to the sewing machine to top stitch along the raw edge to hold the tabs encasing the ends of the zipper. and then you can trim the sides of each tab even with the zipper tape. This next step is really quick and that is taking our strap connector and folding it in half, matching the long edges and then with just a sewing clip or two, I'm ready to go to the sewing machine to do a little top stitching. If after folding your strap connector in half and you're preparing for top stitching, if you decide that it's really feeling too bulky, you may certainly unfold it and then cut your strap connector in half lengthwise and then top stitch just the one narrower strap connector 
together in one layer and that will reduce the bulk and make assembly of the bag much easier. And at the sewing machine I'm going to top stitch each long side of the strap connector. Here's a tip from one of our Sally Tomato team members, Jen. She finds it easier to work with the key fob hardware if the two pieces are separated during the bag construction. Slide the o-ring then of the key fob over one end of the strap connector so it's in the center and then fold the connector in half aligning the raw ends. With right sides together, position the raw edge of the strap connector on the left side of one main panel just down from the top edge. Make sure the o-ring is towards the inside. Stitch in place. Before we continue assembling the bag, this is a great time to add a handmade label and you'll center it just down from the top edge of one main panel piece. Be sure to visit the Sally Tomato YouTube channel for a video tutorial on installing this hardware. Now with the strap connector basted in place, we are ready to add our zipper. And just a quick note, if you're right-handed, the zipper should open towards the right side. And if you're left-handed, the zipper should open towards the left side. With right sides together, center the zipper along the top edge of the main panel with the strap connector attached and hold the layers together with sewing clips or basting tape. Now it's time to base the zipper in place, making sure that the hardware is out of the way as you sew. With the zipper basted in place, we're now ready to position the lining over the zipper, aligning all the edges. This would be right sides together. And then I'm just going to add a few sewing clips to the top zipper tape edge, and then we'll go back to the sewing machine to stitch this in place. Sew together along the top edge. And then while I'm at the machine, I'm simply going to fold both layers of fabric away from the zipper and then top stitch along that top edge. Now we're going to add the remaining main and lining panels to the opposite side of the zipper using the same steps we did before. So with right sides together, center the zipper along the main panel and then we're going to baste the zipper in place. Add your remaining piece of lining, again lining all the edges, and we will sew across using the same seam allowance that you used on the first side. And then we'll top stitch once we've turned the main panels and the lining panel away from the zipper. And now your bag should look something like this. Make sure the zipper is unzipped about halfway and then fold the bag so both main panels are right sides together and then also fold so both lining panels are right sides together. And then you'll align all the straight edges and clip or pin them in place. It is really helpful to use a zipper foot for this next step. We're going to start by sewing the layers of the lining together using a wider seam allowance. Be sure to leave a section unsewn along the bottom edge of the lining for turning. Then sew the layers of the main fabric together using the suggested narrower seam allowance. Now the larger seam allowance for the lining helps the lining fit better inside your bag and do be careful to not sew through the zipper tabs. While I'm at the sewing machine, I'm going to create a box corner in each bottom corner of the main fabric and lining fabric. So I'll show you on one corner here. With right sides together, match the side seam and the bottom seam, and then flatten to align the raw edges. Sew the main fabric corners with the narrow seam allowance and the lining corners with the wider seam allowance. And make sure you catch all the layers in the seam allowance. Sometimes when it's folded, you can miss a little corner. So double check that. Trim the excess fabric from each corner to reduce the bulk. You'll also trim the lining seam allowance a little bit, again, reducing the bulk and making it neater inside your bag. Now you're going to turn the bag right side out by pushing the fabric through the bottom unsewn edge in the lining. 
Roll the seams and corners with your fingers to flatten the seams. Now you can hand sew or top stitch the turning opening closed and then push the lining back inside the bag. And we're going to move on to making the strap. I'm going to show you two options depending on the thickness of your main fabric. Following the instructions in your pattern, with wrong sides together, fold the long sides to the center and then fold in half again, wrong sides together and hold with sewing clips. And then you'll top stitch along each length side. And this technique is great for lighter weight fabrics. However, I found with my heavier fabric, the full leather, I decided to cut my strap piece in half lengthwise and then just using one of those pieces, I'm going to fold the long sides to the center and then go to the machine to top stitch. And now we can top stitch the long edges with a slightly wider allowance and then the strap is ready for the hardware. Fold the strap in half, matching the short ends, and insert the short ends in between the key fob hardware. And be sure to check out our YouTube channel for Jess's helpful video tutorial for extra tips. All you need to do now is reattach the hardware and you are ready to go. I think you're going to find lots of uses for each size, from hobby or crafting supplies to loose change and charging cords. Are you ready to make more carry-alongs? They make great gifts, so be sure to stock up on your fabrics, supplies, zippers, and hardware. If you enjoyed this mini pattern, join our monthly mini club for only $5 a month and receive a new mini pattern in your mailbox or inbox each month. These mini patterns are designed for all skill levels and are intended to be a quick sew project. Most patterns will include a video tutorial on our YouTube channel. We'd love to see how your carry along looks. Share photos of your completed project using hashtag Sally Tomato and hashtag Cork Carry Along. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. We always enjoy hearing from you. And so all of us at Sally Tomato would like to thank Jamie for his great pattern and design. And thank you for sewing with me today. Have a great making day.